Hey, I'm Jordan Rudis. I'm the keyboard player for Dream Theater. And I'm also here because I'm very interested in the iPhone. And today is a very exciting day because I want to introduce you to the very first iPhone application that I'm directly involved with and have my name associated with. It's called Hexatone and it's made by Amidio. It's a rhythm-based sequencer that does some really amazing stuff. You can craft your own really interesting rhythms. You can do things with randomize, which are very cool. But you can also use it as a performance-oriented instrument. So you can move the phone around to create all kinds of interesting stuttering effects or chorus effects. The other thing that's great about it is that, well, for one, I spent a lot of time and made some very unique percussive-based samples that come as part of Hexatone. But you can also use your own samples, which is, you know, awesome. It's a professional tool on the level that you can work on the iPhone, create your rhythms, and then you can take your files and then transfer them to whatever system you work with, whether it be Logic or Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever is your, your fancy. When you first start up Hexatone, you'll see this very cool looking screen. And this is a little bit of information about it. If you want to play the sequence, that's currently loaded in, all you have to do is press the little play icon, this one. And to stop it, you hit it again. I'll say right off the bat that one of the cool features of Hexatone is that you can record whatever you're doing. And if you do, when you hit the actual word that says play, that's going to start your recording. So not to be confused, when you just want to hear the sequence that you're creating, you hit the play icon. In Hexatone, there are six different oscillators that create the sound. Each oscillator goes on its own path and travels through the different cells. In order to turn on and off the various oscillators, what you want to do is you want to hit the little sound button right there and it turns red. That enables you to press these inner numbered cells to turn on or off the various oscillators. And you can see they're numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all different colors as well, which really helps to understand what's going on. If you hit number one, for example, it'll turn off. Hit it again, and it turns on. You can see the color goes away when something is off. So anytime you're playing, we can turn off any number of cells or on like this. I'm just turning them off. Now there's only one left. And what's really cool is if I go into the setup mode, which is this little button, I can actually see that number four is selected and you can see the color matches. Then I can go into pitch and drag my finger so I can control the pitch. And you can do that for any of the cells that are active. It's a really great feature. Not only pitch, but you can also change things like volume, and you can change the panning, and you can change the length of the sample, which is a very handy thing to do. So there's some very interesting control that's going on there. Hexatone is the world's first six-directional rhythm sequencer. It's awesome that you have these six oscillators here, and each oscillator can travel on its own path through the hexagon. And while it's traveling through the path, it can pick up all these very unique modifiers, which we'll see in a little bit. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the menu button, and menu button brings up some different options, one of which is to load a session. When I load a session, it brings up lots and lots of different patterns that your Hexatone application will come with. In this case, I want to load one of mine, which is the JR Proton. So I select it there, and it comes up at the top, and all I have to do is hit load. And that enters the hexagon. Now again to play it, all I have to do is hit play. One thing I want to point out before I do is that Hexatone comes with over 400 different unique original samples, some of which I created personally for this application. So here's what this one sounds like. And you can hear that actually it's not a fixed pattern. One great thing about Hexatone is that as the oscillators travel on their path, there is a bit of randomization to what's going on. So it's perfect for, you know, any kind of like glitch-oriented IDM or original type of rhythmic creations. In addition to Hexatone's very unique method of programming rhythms, there's also some really great live performance techniques which you can use. 
This is something that I really wanted to see happen and now it's happening in a big way inside Hexatone. Let me show you the stuttering and chorus effect that you can do while playing live. So I'll start this pattern. And then if I hit this ST at the top right, then I can move the phone in different directions and it'll stutter in all different ways until I hit the button again and it goes back to normal. So check it out again. Here we are, grooving along. And what's very cool also is that Hexatone does not lose the rhythm. The clock stays the same. So just for a quick stutter. And there's also the chorus effect, which is on the top left. Notice the chorus is a little bit more than a chorus. It adds your typical chorus, but it also has a little bit of pitch variation to it, as well as some delays. And you can use them together. Check this out. And we're back. One thing you can realize as well is that when you have the buttons pressed for the live performance mode, you can also just hold the phone still, kind of perpendicular to the ground, and it'll be back to normal. So you can choose to do that, or you can turn on and off the buttons. Even if you don't want to get into the whole programming aspect of Hexatone, you can have Hexatone create patterns for you. It's got this really cool randomize function that works great. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to actually shake your phone, because when you shake your phone, then it'll ask you if you want to clear Hexatone out, which is what I did, and the reason you can see just the oscillators on on the screen. So here's how to create a random pattern. All you're going to do is take your finger and hold your finger down in the middle of the six oscillators until the field populates like this. And then let go whenever you feel like it's ready. How about now? Now let's hit play and see what we got. That's very cool. So all the notes came on the screen, all the modifiers, and it created an original pattern. Now one thing you might want to do is have new samples come up. Right now it's using the samples from our last pattern. But what you can do now is go to Menu, and hit more and then hit randomize samples. It just draws samples from the over 400 original samples in the Hexatone library and places them on the oscillators. So now let's hit play again. And that's how it works. If you like what you've done and you want to save it, it's really easy. All you do is go to menu and hit Save Session. Then what you want to do is go up to the top, and it's saved, so you can get back to it at any point. So that's a quick look at Hexatone. Hexatone rocks. I've been up late at night playing with Hexatone, working with Hexatone, and getting it ready to present to you today. There's a great future for Hexatone and great ideas that follow after that. So I invite you all to check it out and become part of our Hexatone world. Enjoy. See you on the road.